agus an ishe cardia is coach Oish agus an ora dumsa. Current Vic Carthy of Runa are Patrick Donnellan, captain on Clare. The Uchtaran Liam O'Neill presents the Liam McCarthy Cup to Pat Donnellan as Clare are the All Ireland champions, champions of 2013. They're champions for the fourth time. What an achievement! Davy Fitzgerald has done it with his wonderful, wonderfully talented group of young players. Carnival time. Today's Clare players, there'll be soon folk heroes and legends, you can be sure. And right now the people are just overjoyed and you can see shaking with excitement. It's an enormous sporting achievement for Davy Fitz and for all the others. And what a welcome home they're going to get in Ennis tomorrow night. And Kershaw, I got it. There's an fire of all, he has come down, Clare! Today, today is a day that we need to see a lot more often in the county of Clare. We haven't been here for a long, long number of years, but I can tell you one thing for sure, with these group of players, Clare will be here a lot more years from now on. Um, it gives me great honour to start there two years ago when Davy was manager or became manager, he asked me to be captain and for myself it's a huge honour to be chosen as a, a worthy representative for the, the qualities that these please show, players show. I think to a man for the last two years there could be nothing but good things said about him and for me and for the players here we're so proud to wear the Clare jersey and thanks so much for the supporters who follow us here today. people to thank. When, uh, when Davy comes on board, he, he brings a lot of people with him, so I'll start, but um, we, have, uh, we have a huge backroom team, a huge backroom team. Uh, our doctor, Doc Quinn, our physio, Dermot and Mary, Amy McInerney, um, a, lot, a lot of people who do a lot of tankless jobs, I suppose, of training. Like likes Tommy Hagerty, Tom Sackpole, Shawnee McMahon, Parag McMahon, Fergie McDonough. Um, who am I thinking of? Uh, oh, Fahey. Um, Matty, Matty, our, our, uh, I suppose our, our inspiration, our performance coach, our, I suppose our, our team manager, you might call him, but um, a lot of other people to thank as well. Uh, Gezi, I suppose he's, um, he's a famous man around Clare. He's, uh, he's our kit man. He's our. I suppose one of our friends around the, the dressing room and the place wouldn't be the same without him, so hopefully he'll be here with us for the next 10 or 20 years as well. Um, Sorsha Bulfin, he's a Limerick man, I suppose, but he's got clear blood running through his veins. And uh, I suppose all the saves the past have been pulling off through the year, a lot of it's good thank us to him. Um, we've had, uh, I suppose, we've a, a statistician team. Um, Mike Curry, Dini Callahan, Mikey DC. And they provide all the vital statistics throughout the year. Thanks a million, lads. Um, <laughs> we, we had a meeting, I suppose, a couple of weeks ago, and we, we were talking about different things and what it meant to be playing for Clare and what it meant to wear the Clare jersey. And when I was growing up, I suppose something that I always associated with a Clare jersey was Pat O'Donnell. Uh, <laughs> He's a fella that we've, uh, we have huge, huge pride that he's involved with us. He gives so much of his time, his effort, you know, other funding and money and things like that to keep this Clare team going. And we thank him sincerely. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> now, I suppose to our, to our team management, our, I suppose our fitness, and our conditioning is one that's been remarked upon has been very good throughout the year. And we have a man, I suppose he's, I suppose he's a scientific and he's a perfectionist. And uh, he's a Limerick man, a bit of Kerry in him. But uh, from Leslie on as well, he's an honorary Clare man. That's Joe O'Connor. Uh, 
Um, and finally, I suppose, to the, the team management. We have three men that are involved with Davy: Dewey Mulqueen, Mike Deegan and Paul Canurk. I suppose three men that always have a word to say, something, I suppose, that will try and bring you along the day and try and get the most out of you. And they're, they are so, so committed to Clare Hurland and committed to this group and committed to us getting the most out of ourselves. And we genuinely thank you from the bottom of our heart today on behalf of the panel. Finally, I was, a, I was a young man when I was inside the stand here in 95 and 97 and Anthony Daly spoke about a manager in charge that was obsessive and we have a manager in charge, Davy Fitz, and to say that he's obsessive about Claire Hurlan and obsessive about winning would be an understatement. He is, he is the most... He's, um, he's a man, I suppose, that has a certain persona in the media and in papers and things like that. But I can tell you, if any one of these players had to put their life on their line for Davy, it'd be done in the morning, not a problem. He gives everything he has for this county, and we thank him for giving everything that he has. Thank you, Davy. And finally, I suppose to. To Cork, to Cork, to the Cork Hurling team, your management team, I suppose, look, we've, we've had unreal games uh, this year so far, not least three weeks ago and then today to cap it off again. And look, we, we are a team that pride ourselves in being honest, pride ourselves in being commitment and pride ourselves in giving everything we have. And it's brilliant to be met with a team that has the same qualities out there today. And it was just nip and tuck, goal for goal like it was the last day. And just... Thank you for a great game today. And three cheers for Cork. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. We'll all see you in Ennis tomorrow night. And you can be sure they'll have some party in Ennis tomorrow night. Davy Fitz, Pat Donnan, and all the others taking back the Liam McCarthy Cup to the Banner County. Claire's glorious day. A glorious day for the sport. Two of the great uh, teams in action. One of the great finals of the past 25 years. Let's go back to Clare. Davy Fitzgerald, you were there in 95, you were there in 97, and now you have led this incredible young Clare team to victory in 2013. Give us an idea how you're feeling. It's hard to say how I'm feeling. I'm just so, so proud of my guys. Um, it's nothing to do with us. It's down to them. Like, we let Cork back into the game, we made it as hard as we could for ourselves, but my God, what character. Do you know it's going to be your day when a 19-year-old who's a late inclusion on the team scores a hat-trick? He's an unreal young lad, unreal young lad. Some talent, but we have a lot of good lads like that, and fair play at them. See, Darrow came on at the end and scored a goal to finish it as well. And it was a goal you needed? Yeah, we needed that at the end. I know you're anxious to go and celebrate with your team. Well done, David. Thank you. Well, Davy Fitzgerald, of course, wants to go and celebrate with his team. What an incredible journey it is uh, for him. Eddie Brennan, um, th this was the job that, that Davy Fitz wanted. He wanted, as most guys do, to manage their own county and naturally to manage them to an All Ireland title. He has achieved that. Yeah, what a day for Davy Fitz. You know, you'll have to take your hat off to him because, you know, there's pressure attached to that as well. I can imagine it as, you know, and it's his second year and we're beating the Munster. And you'd have to say, when you get a bunch of players together and you have a management system in place and he gives them, you know, a mandate that he wants them to follow and to see that through, and that's what Davey Fitz has done with these lads. Now, certain people, I suppose, down in Clare weren't yeah. overly fond of the game plan that Davey was trying to, to put mm -hmm. in place. But when the players buy into that and buy in completely into what a management is trying to get them to do, give themselves 110% to the system, believe in that no matter what's going on around them when things go bad and things were going bad for Clare the last few months but they have certainly steadied up their belief in the system has paid off and today you'd have to say to them for a young young team 
they rolled up their sleeves, they got knocked back, they delivered the, the big punches in the first half, they absorbed everything Cork could throw at them, Cork got it back to level and they just kicked on from there. And you even talk about Dara Cohn in there, he mentioned him. You know, sometimes when a lad gets dropped like that, he can be feeling sorry for himself. He sprinted onto the field today, got a chance and went in and stuck it in the net. And that's all you ask of your players, make a contribution, contribute to the team. But fair play to David Fitzgerald, you'd have to say, big bull of bust to Davy. He has done it, you know, a lot of people mightn't have felt they would have done it as quick, you know, his second year in. They contested a relegation final in the league, and yes. now they're All-Ireland champions. But, so, you know, fair play to them. They're the All-Ireland champions, and the extraordinary thing about the game, uh, Liam, was, and again, I, I'm going back to the point I made earlier about uh, paying tribute to both teams. Cork got knocked back and back again in the first half, conceded three goals, and they still came back to level the game. And then Clare took all of that that was thrown at them and responded. Yeah, it was. It was just like, I mean, for, for as a spectacle, you just couldn't wish for anything better. I mean, sometimes replays don't live up to the original game, the, the first day out. We remember I mean, last year, 11 point gap. Yeah, you over, know what I mean? The game the was over. We, 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 we played out the last 15, 20 minutes of the game. But today, and even as you said, Cork, like, you know, Stephen Mylan rattles the back of the net with a minute to go, uh, two Great minutes goal. to go. Mm. Just in, a fantastic goal. And they actually had a half a chance. Seamus Harrington really caught a ball. The pass just broke down. They could have been back level, but and up they go and they get a goal at the other end of the field. But, like, full credit to Clare. I think over the of course, it. you know, I know Eddie was playing today. I think he learned a huge amount during the year. I mean, I for one would have been critical of their shot passing at times, especially in the first round of the final. But they corrected that, and you know, they learned and they had, they had numerous wides. And again, they got the wides down into single figures again today. So I think he's learned a lot over his management career. He's fully deserving of, the, of his day in the summer with this player team. And I can tell you one thing to all the other counties out there this player team are around for a while. And I see Brian Cody there, picture of him in the stand. Yes. They'll need to start plotting a long time out for this player team because they are just an exceptional bunch. To score 5-16 on the biggest day of all in Crow Park, 31, uh, 31 points after getting 25 points the last day. They, they have no fear, they have no inhibitions, they just go and play. And they played really, really well today and are fully deserving. But I would spare a thought for Cork. I thought, you know, they were they were outstanding contributors to the two days. And, and you know, we're that close. We're one minute away from being All-Ireland champions this year. They deserve great credit. And Jimmy Barry Murphy deserves a huge amount of credit for where he's brought this team this year from nowhere. But overall, it's been a fantastic hurling year. I think hurling has been the big winner all season. And obviously, Clare um, are absolutely outstanding All-Ireland champions. Sir, if your county over in the west would have experienced something like this in the sense that, you know, Clare won the All Ireland's 95 and 97, and then there's been that gap since. It wasn't quite as long in Galway's case, but then from 1980 to come again in 1987, 88, you know, it, it relit the whole county again for a while. Yeah, and much with the same kind of a system. A minor team came through in 83, and yes. one team, not the same. But what impressed me about Davies management team is I saw these guys playing Waterford Crystal early on. Mm. And O'Donnell, young O'Donnell was below playing with Cork in first year UCC and he had him playing through forward. He was very light and said I could make a great forward over this fella. I happened to be at a funeral last week, John Connolly's father passed away, a big age, Paulie Connolly. Right, yes. And uh, we're chatting afterwards and of course he's all holding and he, he said uh, he's going very well in training. Uh, I knew what he meant and Derek had a kind of an injury. And he said I think I have a system worked out, but David brought into systems. But like just to see that young fat lad like, fulfilling that potential. And even earlier last year, you talking about Tony Kelly. He said, I have a new breed of a centre forward that said to cover the whole pitch. He was thinking of Tony Kelly and Podge Collins. Like, as, as, as Liam Office said, they're the kind of the new type. If you watch Tony Kelly moving, like, he'd glide around the pitch. He's man to the head of William, and he hasn't got three points. They'll kind of pop up everywhere. They're the new type. They're unusual for Clare in the sense that their ability to cruise around everywhere and get great scores and, and great skill. Now, the, 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 the team that, of Clare, the Wunder Allerns, had great skill as well, but they're a forceful physical team. This team is more like kind of light foot, body swerve, and movement the whole time and you know they are a team if they're minded they are a team of the future because there's a lot of young lads that aren't that are just on the edge of that panel that are quite good as well I think like Sir Paul Flanagan these fellas uh, Shane and Maury come on these lads uh, Nicky O'Connell these lads are bursting Tots O'Connell they're bursting to get on but but you know they can't get on because like with the lads, Shane Moore, he would be on. He was on earlier on, got injured, and by the time he came back in, the team was settled. And you saw what Derek Conan did, like when he came on, got his goal. He'd be disappointed to be dropped. It wasn't fully fit. So, like you know, Conor McGrath probably just probably saved today. He's back from injury from last year. His best game, I'd say, by a mile today when he came back on. What's, it. what's really amazing, I think, about Clare is that they didn't let their inhibitions or they were, did their heads didn't drop at all from the drawn match. That they kept their focus. They obviously were able to stay very, very positive. And there was probably a sense in the county maybe they left it behind him, and they were able to keep that. At at bay, which is a brilliant sign of a team, very mature for a young team, and I'm sure Davy played no small part in that as well. I think but I... listening to him as well, even in some of the interviews up to today, you know, Colin Ryan talking about how relaxed they don't know and how that they stay nice and relaxed, and that Davy brought them away for a weekend just to get them switched off from it. In fairness to him, you know, he ticked the boxes. Well, he, he, got it right he was telling them. me that last weekend they had a great session on a Friday. Look very sharp. Yes. 
and went for a bit of golf on a Saturday and on Sunday they look flat which can happen and he had, he had trained and raised for Tuesday Thursday and he said I'm thinking of it he said I'm scrapping the Tuesday Thursday just on Wednesday he just felt that they were going to be flat all he was hoping was that he had them fresh that he sure, knew to go yeah. and like you get a feeling for a team you know, Jim Barry Murphy do the very same thing they still play very well but like these are new kids on the block remember Clare haven't won 30 titles they haven't won that many you know so like they'll be hoping to drive on with the under 21 team coming through now, you know mine has been pushed on they'll be hoping to win two or three but like the, the caption showed Brian Cody there and like you know sure, he'd be smiling he'd be saying it's a fair play and he'd like he'd, he'd love her but he'll be plotting for next year, you know. Sure. Like, and, like he has new selectors in this year, and the, the Gary is in who I think could be a top coach yet. Like he's big into the coaching. There isn't a hurling in the country that James McGarry doesn't know. And like uh, I'd say, he's grooming for down the future. But these, these are the team of the future. Okay, Cork can be disappointed tonight, but it's hard to believe. One night I saw them playing in Six Mile Bridge, and Michael, it would freeze you above it in February. I mean, freeze yeah. you. Half the Cork team didn't get there. It was an Irish village, That's which right. was a great, very, very skillful hurling. The, the wind up playing in the, uh, the, to see who stood up in Division One, and then they wind up in All Ireland. It's an unbelievable fairy tale for both counties. I know how Cork are disappointed, but I mean, over the whole year, it's been a fantasy story for both Clare and Cork where they came from. And the thing about it is, Liam, you know, Cyril has been saying that this is a young team and they could be around for a while, and we've been saying the same thing in the football with Dublin. You know, they could dominate football for quite some time. But you never know, so you take these when you when you get them. Oh, listen, to get up these steps is not an easy thing to do, you know. And like, when you go back down the bottom of the hill again next year, they're all waiting for you, you know, you're all inside <laughs> in the big pack again. And Blank like, there's no one won't look forward to drawing, like, the draw's on next week. And everyone, yeah. whoever they draw in Munster will say, they'll be licking their lips saying, bring it on, you know. Yeah. Because now, everyone, that's the thing, everyone wants a piece of the champions. And that's the beauty about Hurling. But I mean, you go back over this year, you had Limerick winning Munster for the first time in a long time. You had Dublin winning Leinster and you've cleared all Ireland champions. And I suppose the one team you would have a huge amount of sympathy for is Cork, because they played in the Munster final, they played in the Ireland final, and at the end of the year they have no medal to show for it, uh, which is very disappointing for them. But in fairness to uh, to the banner, I thought like in Conor McGrath and Shane O'Donnell were just outstanding today. Like that end of the field, that's really where they got a grip in the game. Tony Kelly yet again chips in with three wonderful points. And again, I suppose maybe underestimated the fact that they lost, but Brian Murphy went on to Podge Collins today. Podge Collins has to me been an outstanding player all year and full credit to Brian, uh, Brian Murphy. He actually took him out of the game today and Podge Collins ended up being taken off. But that was a day where it didn't happen for Podge Collins today and Shane O'Donnell and, and Conor McGrath step up. And that's what they have in Clare. If one guy isn't coming to the plate, Another guy steps in, and as I said, outstanding team, outstanding champions, and uh, you know it'll, it's going to be test everyone to get to the level that they're at right now. And that is the mark of champions, isn't it, Eddie? But uh, Liam just said that a day where one or two things go wrong for you, maybe a player that's expected to have a key role in it, and somebody else comes along yeah, that, and does it instead. Yeah, that's, does it that's, with the, them. that's the I suppose the seesaw really of, of All Ireland final day. It can work out for you one day. You know, you take uh, Conor Ryan the last day. Absolutely brilliant sense. No, nice and solid again today. But Conor McGrath, for me, was a fella. I'm a big fan of his all year long. I felt he was waiting to take off all year. He's a goal scorer. And today, his work rate, first and foremost, was absolutely phenomenal. The hooks and blocks. He followed Cork lads halfway down the field, dispossessed him. And he got his reward at the end. He got a great goal. But just going back to what, what Liam was saying there about it's a long way down to the bottom of the hill. For anyone that's beaten on a day like today, it makes those dreaded winter nights, you know, you're just going, oh, the thoughts are going backwards. For the Clare boys now, it'll be very easy to bring them lads back in training next year. There's a pep in your step. There's a, there's a massive confidence now in their game, especially a young team that will grow and grow on the back of that. But for Cork, you know, they're going to have to lick their wounds for a little while and they just go back to the rest of them. The also runs this year and have to start from scratch again. All right.